Well, um... So I guess... Okay. Four, four, three. We get to buy a babe. Let's see, how many players did you have? You have 12. Um, you have two runners. They both have bludge. That's going to be really annoying. You have a yeti. You have two rerolls and apothecary. Both of your old runners have block as well. So this is going to suck really badly. I'm going to go pour uh, tea. Or I'm going to pour my almost boiling water into my teapot. So, so someone has to remind me in like four turns to go get my tea. Uh, <laughs> so th this match of vamps is gonna suck. Uh, that's what they always do. I think we got. I think. I think defense is correct. I think not playing Vamps is correct. Yeah. If only we had Lockman here, he'd 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 let me know. Since he's the expert. Oh, I should say. I mean, I'm, I'm sure Lockman's around. I'm, I'm not necessarily sure he's currently listening to the stream, right? That's what I do when I watch, like, Andy or Rick. I tend to, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here. So, I like, I'm, I'm watching the stream, but I don't necessarily always have the audio on or stuff like that. I mean, yeah, I guess, I guess one thing you can say about this vampire run so far is that we are undefeated. More rerolls. Uh, that's, I mean, that's still really good for me, but I don't want my opponent to have three rerolls. The fact that, wait, how did I get the fame? Oh, they roll horrible. And I roll, like, it's like reverse. When I play against teams, I'm like, I'm feeling pretty comfortable on, or I'm like, okay, I got this team. Then, I keep losing the fame roll, but for stuff where uh, where I'm like really uncomfortable or like being really cranky because everything goes horrible, then I keep getting the fame. Oh, I might. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait. Huh? Wow. Ha. 
Oh, he picked it up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Oh. Oh. Wait. Okay, this might work. No. Please don't roll three ones in a row. In hindsight, I think, yeah, I think that's, I think that's a misplay by m So, for, for those that didn't know what I wanted to do was I wanted to hypnogaze this. And the reason I use this guy is because he's got agility too. Because I needed him to stand here. Because if he stands here and hypnogazes this, all of these dudes can run through and I get a two-die blitz on the ball. Um, but since I... I bloodlusted here. I think I should have re-rolled the bloodlust and then just, you know, if I fall down on the GFI, I fall down on the GFI. Holy shit, okay. Jojo Gautre, I'm gonna suffer in this trying time. Thank you so much. Welcome back to subscribers. Dude, still have eleven. Oh, uh, right, ten. I was like, all of them. That's not true, because one of them bloodlusted straight away. So it's still really hard for me to get this ball. That's nice. That was, a, that was a full turn where I didn't roll a single one. I'm very impressed with myself. No. 
So it, it looks to me, actually, so they just remove that and then they get an assist here and this guy gets a two die block. Okay. Uh, and it worked out. That's unfortunate. Okay, so where are you going to go hang out? Yeti with claw and multi-block as a wet dream? I don't know about that. I'd rather have a mighty blow block Yeti. With piling on. Mainly because I have one of them in, in rank. Okay, so this is currently a two die blitz. Uh, and now it's not. Oh, uh, this was my plan all along. It didn't work, but it was my plan all along. I had another one of those turns where everything worked. Well, for the most part, which is always weird. All of my vamps are too high up, though. So, so they're blocked on this path, this side, and that was their blitz. So they're not getting through here. Can they get far enough? Let's 
see, who do you have? You got these two. unfortunate but we'll we'll see what happens here because they look kind of overextended on this side Two different things I can do here. I think I should run this guy over here and hypno gaze. Because if I do it if I, I can also do it here and then this guy's free, but that's a one die. Maybe I'm okay with that though. But if I put this here, he's gonna be closer to that. I kinda like that. Oh yeah, 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 because if I do this, I still have a one die here. Uh so now I have to look at where this needs to be. It needs to be here, I think. Yeah. Okay. I stand you up. I just realized this team doesn't have any Berserkers. Uh, do I try for this? No, I do that and then, yeah. Oh. Holy shit, we got a KO. Get it, and uh, that's a bad scatter. Do you play random players or player on your stream? Or I'm not sure I follow the question. Oh, the wild animal stood up. That's unfortunate. Hey, we're actually even on players now. Yes, unfortunately, this means that this guy just blocks here and pushes those guys back, and this guy picks it up. Yep. nice uh, I mean it's good because it means they don't have much protection um, I mean they'll still have a, a blodge piece 
that that's holding the ball, which, you know, isn't great for me. Oh, no, they won't, apparently. Okay, so that's not... Fail this pickup, please? Nope. Okay. No, you need to... <clears throat> No. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five. Yeah, okay. We're, I guess we're doing this instead then. That's not who I meant to hypnogaze. I wanted to hypnogaze that, but this will work in a pinch. I have to go get my tea. Okay, what did I miss? Right. They blitzed the guy off uh, the ball, and now they're going to try and pick it up again. Nice. And they got it on the reroll. They are once again positioning themselves in a way where I can easily blitz them. Oh. Nope. Go murder the Ulf. No, dr no oh, it's okay. Fine. Um. Okay, this is not 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Breaking armor, which is great. I just wish we managed to do something more. Um. Don't... Uh, let's see, it's turn six. Yeah, I need to get the vamp down here first. And my block piece is out of position again. I'm really bad at keeping the right vamps at the in the right place. Who's... Um, okay, you're blitzing. Yep. Yep. Let's see if they score now, or if they wait. I mean, they stunned the vamp, so... They should be able to wait here. But if they're waiting, that thing should do a GFI, right? So that... This guy gets an assist. So if they run over here... What do I do? Can I... Oh. Right. No, I need to... Oh, not... Well, I think that's kind of... That succeeds with the stall. Uh... Do I go for the Yeti instead, then? What Like, what's realistic here? Yeah, I think that's the... I think that's the realistic move. Right. Because there's... Mm, yeah, you can't get there. I guess you can base him. For the blitz. No, that's so unlikely. Let's... Let's... Let's be... Let's do smart things. Turned out to be one of those turns. 
failed a uh, 1 in 81. Why is the enemy not scoring? Because they want to score on turn 8, so that I don't have enough turns to score in the first half. So they're stalling, essentially. There's no point in scoring early, because all that does is give me a chance to score in the same half, and you don't want that. They want to they want to make sure that they go into the first half, or in the second half, 1-0 up. I had a few good turns, like some really good turns, but I couldn't capitalize, and I think I, it's one of those, I made the same mistake again, well, I mean, I made, I didn't make a mistake, but I, I rolled three ones in a row, uh, the first thing that happened, and that means my plus agility vamp was out, uh, so that in turn, means, um, you know, that... Do I have a realistic shot at doing... No, I don't, because I do not remember what the setup is. So, I'm gonna ignore it. Yeah, we're uh, we're I'm I'm hoping to put a uh, Vanna to pass on the troll. We'll see how it goes. Ooh. Well, oh. So not what I want. So five, six, seven. That's fine. I'd like you to bite that guy. Oh, yes. Glad to see you to everyone. I can't, like, this year I've never... That's not good. Well, actually, no, we have... I have a spare player, so that's fine. Uh... Whoops. Uh, go here. Now that I look at it, I don't think I, I didn't need to do that. Uh, I shouldn't have moved that piece because I can. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. See, I could have. I could have. Great. I could have done that without moving. I also forgot about the blitz. Well, I didn't forget about it because I thought the the vanity pass was more likely. big question now is do I try and go for the one die uh, uh, do I go for the tie or do I try and I, like I managed to knock it loose several times I think it's gonna it's gonna be very dependent on what happens early in this half because we both have spare players like we haven't managed to injure anyone um, more rerolls from me 
That's really nice. Uh, I actually think Snake... I think I need to give it to Snake Raw now. Oh, boy. Imagine, like, imagine... So, had that happened, like, two games ago, this piece wouldn't have had a uh, block, and he would have been ejected. Um, we're gonna pick this up. Thanks. shit so to recap the only armor I broke was my own so let's see what my opponent does So that's, uh, oh, you got a two die. Not sure. Like, I thought they were blitzing this and that's why they based, but that's not the case. They're blitzing with the Yeti. Ah, uh, it's the second time he gets injured. That's a badly hurt. I can get that guy back. Yep. Okay, so that we are we are going this way. Come on, stop it! Thank you. Jesus Christ. It's the fucking worst. This is now, I don't want to do this, but I'm not comfortable with where all of my dudes are, so. I have nine, so that's what I have on the pitch. So, 
Let's see what they do, because we did we did pivot pretty hard, but we pivot did pretty well, I think. I just wanna, nah. Like I've got, I've come up, <laughs> I've come up against a lot of Armor Seven teams, and like almost throughout the whole thing, I've never managed to get much casualties. Admittedly, like I'm not very good at getting casualties, but I feel like, like give me one at least or something. Okay. Let's see what the Yeti's doing. Oh, the Yeti failed to move. That's very nice. Let's see, can we get can we get through the middle here? One, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, in theory, we could if this was knocked down. If it, okay, so if we if we get a knockdown here, we run through, and if we don't, we do something over here. Oh well, that's definitely a knockdown. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I have to. Okay. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these guys can reach it as well. So that's this is not really good enough. So that means you have to go here, I think. And you have to just stand up. Not very safe, but let's see what they go for. They actually, oh right, with this they they have a kind of hard time actually removing this assist. So it doesn't like this is not enough. So that's interesting. Yeah, so moving here means that they can block this and this guy's free, but this is not this is a this is a two die again still. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can't get there. So what they need to do is they need to knock this down. Or are they do that, and that's a one die, okay. Right, it's a two die because of Dauntless. Whew. Whew. Very good. I'm happy with that. Well, so the thing is, yeah, I didn't I didn't see that move because I assumed they'd come in that way, but yeah, they definitely I mean, that's what they did. 
Um, I think this being here kind of confused me a bit. But if they come in this way, I have like a lot of vamps here. So at least I'd most likely be able to recover the ball from this position. Which I did. So that's nice. That's very nice. Okay, um... I think I have to, um, I think I have to score here, because they have one reroll left. I have, I can refill my bench, and I have, I have a lot of rerolls. Not stalling equals exciting to watch. I I mean, I don't necessarily agree. I mean, I see what you're saying, that it's... It's... Oh, that's a... Uh, oh, that's not good. I see what, I see what you're saying. Uh, but at the same time, I think, like... I, I can find, like, stalling kind of exciting if it's, if it's done well. But yeah, generally, of course, stalling is kind of like... There's all of a sudden more on the line when someone has the other team has a chance to win. Uh, I so in case that wasn't clear, what I'd hoped for was not that. I needed them to, you know, have to try and pick it up because they only have one reroll left. Uh, now that's not an issue. Now, admittedly, this is probably not someone they want to score on. Oh, okay, that's their other reroll gone then. We also have more rerolls than their turns left, so that's exciting for us. Okay. It's going to be real hard to uh, deal with that, so... I think I'm going to skip that this turn. That's not good enough. Actually, we need to start here. Good. 
And I do think I have to start doing these follow-ups here. Because if I don't, uh, they don't have to risk things, and I want them to risk things. And we failed our one in nine again. This is our third time. I needed that so I could go foul this. What do you guys think of humans having halflings in Blood Bowl 3? What do you think it means for Old World Alliance? Well, I mean, Old World Alliance is... I don't know if anyone would realistically play that, because it's got so much animosity. Uh, but yeah, I'm, like, I don't think, I don't think adding a, a fling to humans adds anything. To me, it reads like someone's like, well, they have an ogre that has throw teammate. Shouldn't they be allowed to throw something? And I think the answer to that is no. No, they shouldn't. I actually, let's, let's double check and see if he can throw or not. Because, like, I don't, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not horrible, but I don't see why you'd ever run one outside of being like, oh, here's something that I can foul with. Uh, yeah, the uh, the human ogre has throw teammate. Okay, so we have a straight up blitz here. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that doesn't work. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay, um, let's see here. What do I want to do? Ah, oh, do I? No. Right, that's a one die. You go there, you run in and blitz. So, for that to be as annoying as possible, you need to stand up. You need to stand up. I think we'll stand you up as well. We'll put this here for now. Nope, don't want that. And we lost. We failed our one in nine. <laughs> so, misplay there was, I think, I should have stood. <sighs> no? I don't know. I could have I could have dodged this out to get a two die here. Or I could have used this in the hopes that I could use these guys. But I don't think that's right, because I need a two die to get to get this ball. Can I have blitz with the left map? No, there's stuff in the way. But I think it's one of those where it's like... I need to figure out how to play that turn, because I don't think I've played that turn correctly, but... I have a hard time recognizing... 
the balancing between um, between being risky and not and not not being enough and not being great the between being greedy and too greedy like if right now if both of these manage to stand which is unlikely by the way uh we have a chance because this guy is in reach if i can get this guy down here to remove this uh uh tackle zone which is a possibility I think out of the new teams, the, the the team, the teams I'm interested in is like I I think the Black Orc team is interesting. I don't necessarily think the Human Nobility team is very interesting because it seems like just bad Bretonians. Okay, now that's a thank you. Yeah. Okay, so we have a shot now. Let me think this through. Yeah. Hey! Jesse, 21 month, thanks so much. Welcome back to the subscribers. Oh, right, okay, and this is decently easy. Uh, Sweet. No. Wait. Did I not have to... There we go. No! What? What? What was... Wait, that's not how that interaction works. Wait, what? Okay, so... Right. So it's... Okay, so we we lost it. Well, I mean, we probably lost it otherwise as well, but we lost it basically on me misunderstanding how the interaction works in Blood Bowl 2. Uh, because in... You don't have to stand up to Hypnogaze. So... What happened was that I failed the Bloodlust before standing up. And then I Hypnogazed, which... The game considered, okay, you don't have to stand up to do that, so it did it. And then I wasn't allowed to bite anything because I was on the floor, and I can't bite anything. Yeah. So, the only way that interaction works, the, like, the only way you can hypnogaze while being on the floor as vamps is with the assumption, or you have to make sure that you, uh, Succeed in your bloodlust. You should no. You're able. You're. You've always been allowed to gaze from the ground. That's according to the rules. That's correct. The uh, uh, the misunderstanding there is how like there's le it's less of a misunderstanding and more. Uh, he should probably really score here, because um, he's risking it for no reason. Um, But the, I've, I specifically lost this because I, I missed, I, I did this interaction wrong.
It's not so much that you can gaze from the ground, it's- I think it's more that it's- according to rules, you don't have to be standing to gaze. It's something like that. So, now we need a riot. Do I have a full team? Yes, I do. So that's... That's really annoying. But at least now I know. Yeah, like, it's, 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 like, the, the rule books have always had things where it's like, uh, a rule says written says this, and then someone goes, well, that's not the intention. Um, and then you're like, yeah, but that's, that's how you wrote the rules. Uh, and that's also why, you know, it's... So... Hang on. How much... Do I... Is it realistic for me to try? No, it's not. But, do I still want to try it? Yeah, maybe. I don't think I can do it with this, but... I'm gonna keep that guy back. I wanna see how far I can... I can push. Thanks for injuring something now. And then that goes there. And this guy pushes here and you push that. And then yeah. And you do a bunch of shit. Sweet. I I was gonna foul, but I'm I'm like I'm kind of over this game in the sense that I the uh, it's it's an it's annoying to to lose your chance to to tie on on an interaction being. Oh, someone got ejected. Uh, being wrong? I mean, it, that's not that's not true. I don't think the interaction is wrong. I think I did it wrong, right? But I got confused because it worked in a like it worked in a way I didn't think it would allow me to do it. I guess like it was. Eh. It still sucks. You got a lot of money uh, that we don't need. Fake life still. 12 armor breaks, 12 armor breaks, 46 blocks, 34. 1 KO, 2 injuries, 2 KOs, 1 injuries. Uh, yep. Uh, Dauntless worked great. Uh, GFIs worked great. Pickup worked great. Uh, armor was great. Injury was great. Wake up KO was great. Catch was great. Casualty was great. Dodge was bad. Wild Animal was actually quite bad. Rolled really evenly. Our GFIs were slightly worse than they should be. Our dodge was pretty darn good, actually. Our pickup was bad. Our armor was great. Our injury was great. Our bloodlust was great. 
our hypnotic gaze was okay. Uh, it's actually quite good. Um, casualty was okay. Region was great. Pass was not good. Catch was great. Wake up after KO was great. Um, we... Um, yeah, we rolled a decent amount of these. We rolled pretty evenly, unfortunately. We didn't roll many skulls, which is great, but we rolled a bunch of both downs. They had a similar result. Except they knocked me down on more things. So, what has that done for the team? Well, this guy is not necessarily dead yet, but... So that's a leader. That probably means we go down a reroll. Uh... Right, we... So that's happening. Uh, we'll move that down. We'll move that up. Let's see. Uh, I think we go. I think yeah. I think we go down a reroll. Yep. Because that's the smart thing to do. 